Avenue family, as we enter this time to accelerate, I'm really excited about the opportunity and the challenge to examine what it means for us to declare Jesus first in our lives and how it plays out in our generosity. To help us with that, we're providing you with this commitment card as a discipleship tool. Each of us might use this card in different ways as we pray through our commitment, but I wanna take some time to walk you through it as you seek and pray and discern how God will call you to give. If you'll open this card, you'll see a worksheet inside. We've created this worksheet to help you think and pray through your commitment. Although you do not need to fill in every line, the only box we wanna ask you to fill out is that bottom box here. Our core purpose is that 100% of us will declare Jesus is first in our lives through our generosity. And as you look down at this bottom box, before you make that final commitment, ask yourself this question. Does this commitment truly reflect that I'm declaring Jesus is first above everything else? So let me walk through this card with you and let it be used as a guide for you to think and pray through your commitment. The first box says what I or we normally would give in one year. This is where you're going to include what you typically give in a year. The Accelerate initiative includes our total giving, not just our extra or expanded giving. So we wanna begin this journey by celebrating what you're already doing in generosity. For some, this first box may not have a number in it yet, and that's okay. You're beginning your giving journey for the first time through this initiative, and I want to affirm this very important step of faith. The second box says, my or our expanded annual generosity for Accelerate. We want you to spend time praying and asking God, how are you asking me to grow and expand so that I'm truly giving my first and best in the area of my generosity? I want you to wrestle and ask the Lord some tough questions. Is my giving truly governing my spending and my saving? Or does my spending and my saving govern and direct my giving? Be as honest as you can as you seek to reflect here in this box the way in which God is asking you to expand your generosity. We're then going to add the first two boxes, normal giving and expanded annual generosity during Accelerate and enter the total in the third box. Then we will multiply it by two since this is a two year initiative. Next is a very important box, the gifts from stored resources. We often only consider our generosity in terms of what God will give us over the next two years mostly through our income. We don't often think about what God has already given us in the past, our stored resources. If you want to honor God in all things, then we need to ask ourselves if we are honoring God in this Accelerate commitment, not just with what He will give us over the next few years, but with what He's already given us in our stored resources in the past. Everyone has a stored resource. For some of us, it might be something like cash savings or retirement accounts property, stock. For others, it could just mean possessions. Something God has given you in the past that you aren't honoring Him with in the present. If you're struggling with what a stored resource might be, I often find it helpful to list out some of your most significant possessions. Put your savings account, put your stock, and your property. Put that on the list with your personal possessions. Then you can begin to work through this list in prayer and ask God, Am I honoring you with this resource? For many of these items, the answer is gonna be yes. And you should keep that resource and keep honoring God with that resource. Don't sell your home if you're honoring God with it. Having life group in it, letting people stay on your couch or in your guest bedroom if they need a place to stay. But if you aren't honoring God with your home, and if your home has become a stumbling block or a source of pride or selfishness or accomplishment, or you really just can't afford the payment, then God will likely reveal to you one of two outcomes. You either need to redeem that home and start honoring Him in it, or you need to release that home and get into a home where you can honor God. I want to encourage you to go through this prayer time with each one of your stored resources. And when you find you aren't honoring God with a particular resource, to declare Him first in that area. You either need to redeem that resource and start honoring Him with it, or release that resource and honor Him by giving those funds directly to His mission to expand His kingdom. Finally, add everything together at the bottom, and this is your total two-year Accelerate commitment amount. Again, ask the Lord. 
Does this commitment truly reflect you are first in my life and I'm orienting my other priorities around you and not letting my predetermined priorities affect what I will give to you? Am I truly demonstrating that you are first? Only you know the answer to that question and probably your spouse. So I encourage you to pray deeply with your spouse during this season and make your decision together. I also want to draw your attention to the gift chart on the back of this card. For many of you, this chart will be helpful as you think and pray about what it looks like in your life. I'll say this, if you haven't yet prayed about the number you can't do, you probably haven't yet prayed about the number you should do. Allow God to stretch your faith in bold ways through praying through this chart and allow it to be something that inspires you and challenges you towards a greater generosity in this season so we can connect more people to God and connect more people to people. Then proudly and confidently fill out the info box at the bottom so you can commit boldly to this initiative. This helps us as a church keep you accountable in your commitment and help celebrate your progress. It's not a legal document, but rather it's a covenant with God and with your church. So proudly and boldly fill out that info box before you turn your card in on Commitment Sunday. Speaking of which, if you're ready to commit early, I want you to join us for a very special Advanced Commitment Night. We're gonna be at the Waxahachie Rail Yard Park on October the 29th at 6.30. Then all of us will commit together as a church the weekend of November 12th during our normal worship service. And I pray this will be a historic day in the life of our church. Avenue family, I'm praying during this time of Accelerate that it will be an incredible time of growth in our walk with Jesus. While we have been stretched many times before, this Accelerate initiative is challenging us in a way we haven't yet been challenged. I trust he will do exceedingly and abundantly beyond all that we can ask or imagine in you as well as in our church. And I can't wait to see all that he will do. God bless you, and I'll see you soon.